pretty obvious that Rick Steiner is going to win. Um, and you know, the, to me, my understanding of it is, my analysis of it is, that so much of this baseball and economic matters. Uh, as I mentioned, I came here in September 1990, and Blanchard was the was the governor, and he lost his re his reelection bid to, to John Engler. And um, when I ca I came here from the border, I've been out of the University of Texas, Pan American, on the border of Mexico, and I. I, I I came here talking about uh, economic conditions on the border and how that was going to begin to really impact Michigan. And my students didn't really believe me. And in fact, a lot of them complained that I was talking about things that were irrelevant to them. Again, we're talking 1990, 20 years ago. Among the things they complained about was that I was telling them that the auto industry in Michigan was going to go away. And that would never happen, they said. You know, I mean, the auto industry was too strong. And, I just didn't understand, you know, what was going on. Well, we know what happened. And it's been downhill, just been a down, downhill spiral since then. It's, it's this state has, has just struggled with the economy, you know, and especially the eastern part of the state, or Detroit. I mean, it's, with the western Michigan, it seems, because it is more diversified, especially Grand Rapids, that would, there's been more success. And, and But this is a heavily Republican area, even over here in the western side. So. Uh, those all those years of economic downturn. Ultimately, Grand Home, when she came in, was what a whole lot she could do. I mean, it was like things were in motion and they were going very quickly downhill. And it's real easy to blame politicians for all the problems and woes, and I think that's what's happening. Whether Snyder can turn it around, I doubt it. I, I may be wrong. I you know wish him well. Uh, he. It's 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 just, it's real easy to be, and not that he's run a negative campaign, because he really hasn't that much. But it's real easy to it, it's camp. The whole movement, I guess you might say, is and uh, to do it away with the grand homes based upon blaming Jennifer for all the problems. And now we're we're going to the other we're going to go the other way. Now we're going to go to the Republicans and because they are business oriented, you know, they'll bring it back. I, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Uh, I think it's just going to be more frustration. I, uh, this state has a, has a lot to offer, a whole lot to offer, but I don't know really to, and natural resources in particular, it's a beautiful place. I thought the, the Pure Michigan initiative was tremendous. It was beginning to tap into some of the stuff. You now that's gone away because of funding. And, um, um, I, I, you know, I'm just not real, real optimistic about uh, the next several years for this state. I, you, you hope it turns around, but I just don't see it coming anytime soon. So we'll see what happens if and when Snyder gets in. And it, it should be interesting.